So Drupal 7 in life is coming after Drupal 8's end of life, but I also shouldn't upgrade to Drupal 9 yet. Help, this is so confusing. What should I do? So uh, on our website, we've got uh, a handy dandy chart here um, that kind of outlines this for us. Uh, you'll see that just as Corey, you've described uh, Drupal 8 ends of life here, uh, reaches end of life in Q4 of 2021 with Drupal 7 uh, confusingly reaching end of life in 2022. The reason for this is, uh, you know, moving from Drupal 8 to Drupal 9 is going to be much quicker and much cheaper uh, than it has been upgrading major Drupal versions in the past. Uh, this is going to be more in line with updates that you might see in uh, like WordPress, for instance. Um, and so that move, uh, if you're on Drupal 8 to Drupal 9, you don't, you don't need years, uh, you need days, maybe weeks, depending on how complex your site is to get that updated and tested. Whereas if you're on Drupal 7 uh, with COVID, that has thrown in all kinds of complications around availability of workforce, as well as monetary constrictions uh, that really have sucked up all the funds that a lot of organizations are planning to use for their Drupal 7 migration. Because that can take a year plus uh, depending on, you know, the size of your site, um, you need more time to get off Drupal 7 and get up to Drupal 8 or 9 than you would to get from Drupal 8 to Drupal 9. Uh, and, and so that extended life there is really going to be important for organizations who have been hit hard by COVID, who have a large Drupal 7 site uh, and are going to need to get off before they need to start paying for uh, long-term support on Drupal 7. 